Packing. Happy Wednesday. It's cold here. I'm sure if you're anywhere near the Midwest or whatever, there's a cold front that came through and is nasty out. I'm going to try to go live everywhere today so we can answer lots of questions. Actually, I'm not going to go live on uh, TikTok today, but I'm going to go live other places. So let me get this stream in and then we'll get started. So I might look a little bit different today because I am in portrait mode, which I I've heard is better for you guys if you're watching this live. So hopefully this is better for you. But we're going to go through everything that I sold over the past couple days. Um, today has actually been a really productive day. I've probably taken pictures of 60 items and listed probably 20. The others are all in my draft bank. Um, I cross-listed a lot of plot stuff using Autoposher's beta program. So super excited about Autoposher. A lot of, I get a lot of my sales through Auto Posture. It's awesome if you're interested in it. I have a link, my link tree. You'll hear me talk about it and how I get stuff, but you'll get five dollars off for free if you hop in there later and get it. What's up, Kit Kat? Waiting for my uh, Ralph Polo that you bought me. I really appreciate that. Um, Ralph Lauren. So we're gonna go over these sales. Everything that I buy is usually around five dollars. So any shirt I show you is gonna be around five dollars, but I'll let you know because there are some retail arbitrage items. People are always asking me what's retail arbitrage. If you're new to the game, it's when you go to a retail store, buy it, and resell it online for a profit. So you can do retail arbitrage, you can do thrifting, garage selling, whatever, even online arbitrage. Buy stuff off whatnot like Kit Kat and resell it online. Perfect timing, my lunch hour good. Eat your lunch and relax, and let's talk about some sales. Let me see. What did you say? I said hi to you on Wayne's Live, and you ignored me. I Kit Kat, I was watching Wayne and Kayla both live through it this morning while I was taking pictures. So I was just listening, just like probably you guys are doing now or later on. I just listened in the background, and, uh, you know, when they see something really good, like that Lily Pulitzer shirt, I'm going to, like, tune in and, and see what's up. So my bad for not saying hi. I'm saying hi now. Hi, Kit Kat. So good afternoon, Gladys. Pendleton shirt. Actually, if you went live thirteen with me yesterday, we found uh, almost this exact same shirt, except it was in a 2XL. So this exact same shirt. It's a flannel. I have so many flannels, guys. I am drowning in flannels that are not selling. It's that time of year. I'm glad this sold. I don't know how many more flannels I'll sell before um, next fall. So what I'm going to end up doing is put all my flannels like in a corner somewhere and get all my shorts and polos ready to go because that's where we're at yes yeah 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 i know i know excuses excuses so bought this for 4.99 sold it for 32.99 as you guys know buyer pays shipping everything here is sold on ebay have had a poshmark sale yet but i've only listed a few things um that is going out one of my poly mailers not mine but one i get off ebay you can also find those linked to my link tree everything i use is in my link tree if you're curious, what's up, Peter? I like the surfboard surfs up. That's actually probably one of the most creative ones I've ever seen. The surfboard with the arrow up. That's awesome. I like that. Um, retail arbitrage. You guys know I bought a million of these bad birdie. Even if these are used, you want to look out for these. I undercut everybody because I bought these at about $10 and I have a ton of them. So I've been selling them at $37.99. I promoted all of them and sorry. Um, I want mine gone. Want, want that money. Again, I'm 3Xing my money with these, and I'm fine with that. So bad birdie, if you find any bad birdie for $5 out in the wild, I say pick it up. I say pick it up and resell it. So this is a size small. A lot of people don't like to get size small. I have small through 2XL, and I sold a small. So $10 into $37.99. Again, retail arbitrage, you just got to go find those sales. It's the really... Really tough part. I almost call places. I do call places. Yesterday, I called two different places to see what type of sales they're having, if they have any new sales going on. Um, instead of driving there, I just call. I call up there. Um, what I'd like to do is get in cool with some of the workers there, and they can just text me like, hey, we have a, a deal going on today. But um, that's not that's not against any rules, right? That's not illegal. Um, here is an, something you don't find very often, an Agiana AG. Adriana Goldschmidt, however you say it, sweater. You really don't find these very often with that little green hit, green label right there. This is a Mr. Rogers cardigan sweater, and it's super soft. It probably has some cashmere in it um, because, let's see, it has cashmere, 30% cashmere. 
because AG is a higher end brand. They sell at Nordstrom's. If you don't know that, always new watchers. AG, I usually get in jeans, not in sweaters. This is probably the one or probably had one other sweater maybe that I've gotten, um, but this sold for 25 bucks. So AG tops do not sell well. Their resale value is not great. Um, I've sold polos, button up shirts. So I just pass on most of them. I picked this one up because it was a cardigan and it had cashmere in it. Picked it up for $5, $4.99. Um, again, sold it for 25 plus buyer pay shipping. Uh, I have an AG and jean jacket I've been sitting on. Yes. Is it women's or men's? Dan in Indiana. What's up, Indiana? Um, I had an AG jean jacket, brand new with tags. That was women's. I put it in my whatnot show. By the way, if you guys don't follow me on whatnot, go follow me. I have a show a week from this, this Sunday. If you're a reseller or you want good clothing for yourself, I'm telling you, you want to be there. You know me. Everything's $1 starts, sudden death. It's going to be the highest end show I have of women's clothing. The highest end show. So, like, Planet by Lauren G, Ferragamo, Burberry, all the women's stuff that I promise that I find out in the wild that I won't put online. So, any nice women's stuff I put on my whatnot show and Lafayette 148, all that sort of stuff. Plus, Patagonia, North Face, all that. So, go bookmark that show March 10th. Um, and if you're new to whatnot, you get $15 off free if you bookmark it uh, through my link, my link tree. $15 off the show. A woman's, it's vintage. Yeah. So women's AG, I don't buy any women's AG anymore. All their jeans, like the skinny, the steg, I don't know what they're called, but I, I remember used to buying them. They don't sell anymore. The jean jackets don't really sell real great. Um, I think I only sold it for $20 on whatnot. Um, so, but it is new with tags too. I found an Orvis sweater. I heard they are a bolo. It just depends on the Orvis. If it's an Orvis wool sweater in really good condition, that's probably good. I get Orvis wool. It depends your buy cost. Buy cost is very important. Uh, any vintage t-shirts? The one, the only, no, not vintage t-shirts in the sale. In fact, I don't find vintage t-shirts very often for two reasons. Number one, everyone's after them. Number two, our Goodwills know about them now. So I go to shopgoodwill.com and I narrow down the search to Indianapolis where I live and almost everything on the site and clothing for men's are vintage t-shirts and Carhartt, like every other one. So very hard to find vintage t-shirts where I live. Um, next item is LL Bean Blazer. So I think I, we went live thrifting the other yesterday and we went over one that was a little bit older, but I bought this one because it's a big size. Um, this one is a size... 50 regular. So that's like a 3XL. But an L.L. Bean blazer, a cotton blazer. So this is a great like spring, summer blazer. Paid $7.99 for this and it sold for $47.99. So don't sleep on L.L. Bean blazers. Kind of a bolo, right? Um, I found a St. John jeans yesterday for $12. St. John still does well for those naysayers out there that say st john doesn't do well go look on ebay and look up sold comps they do well i remember i posted a video finding three st john suits and they're like oh those are for old people they don't sell anymore i think i sold all of them for like a hundred a piece i paid 10 bucks or seven bucks a piece for those so yeah good find on the st john my whatnot this coming week has st john pants starting at a dollar not on the 10th march 10th not this week march 10th so yeah st john is, is Still selling. It still sells. I don't care what people say. All right. So there that goes. That's going priority. Uh, did you see the William Murray I found? Kate, I didn't. Did you tag me in it? Tag me in it. William Murray is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. I actually have some new with tags with William Murray that I did not get at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I got it at uh, Dick's when they had a big sale. Um, good to know. Thanks. I found some Flint and Tender shorts today. My first time. Let's go, Indiana. Yes, Flint and Tender is a great brand to pick up. Definitely a, a good seller. If you price that right, it will sell very quick. That's what I like. Brands like that, they sell for good money, but if you price them just a little bit cheaper, they'll sell quick. And they're shorts, so maybe don't sell them cheaper uh, until later on because they'll probably sell really quick. Maybe March. Um, cool. Thanks as a model. Never heard of that material for. Sure. I was all, uh, I always look for ladies that miss me jeans, but Goodwill jacks the prices up on them. Yeah, they jack them up. But to be honest, miss me jeans were a good seller six years ago, five years ago for me. 
Um, th they really haven't done much since. If you find the big Miss Me jeans, like like uh, bigger waisted Miss Me jeans, they do okay. But Miss Me jeans, I don't even pick them up at seven ninety nine really anymore at all. And what's up over there on Instagram? If you guys have anything, put like an emoji in there so I can see you because it just tells me all these people that join, but I can't ever see what uh, people are asking. Ralph Lauren shirts twenty eight ninety eight used at my Goodwill today. Donna Diggs, that is crazy. Did you watch K Way going through? Um, K Way, if you're watching that, or you're probably sleeping actually, but um, K Way was going through his red, white, and blue today, and they had Polar Ralph Lauren shirts, shirts for thirty bucks. Shits. For 30 bucks. These are Travis Matthew shorts. Um, again, retail arbitrage. I'm not going to get too deep into retail arbitrage because it's not done really apply. But Travis Matthew shorts, I still pick up. I like picking up shorts and pants in use condition. These would be $3.99 where I live. I'd probably list them at like $18, $19, or $20. But um, I paid, I paid, what did I pay for these? Um, I paid, $11 for these, and I sold them for $29.99. So you might see me packing a lot of uh, Travis Matthews shorts because I listed like over 100 pair. But yeah, those Ralph Lauren shirts are crazy. Happy Wednesday shirts. Husky Mama, what's up, Shauna? Was it a week ago that I saw you? I think it was. So, but also at that red, white, and blue, he found sh uh, Ralph Lauren shirts for $5. It's just hit or miss. Some of our Goodwills priced Ralph Lauren up too. They sit there. If people around here don't buy that stuff. They don't have the patience. They don't They don't want to make that $10 profit. I totally get it. If you're busy, you only want to go for like those $30 profit items. I get that. Um, I understand that. I was there. Uh, but yeah, to, to price it at $30 is just ridiculous for a polo button up. I should have put these in my whatnot show. I really regret it. Um, but I put them online because I was going to do a video, but I'm not. But this, this is that pair of, you guys can say the name, I don't know it, Maluno, whatever, Sex in the City shoes that I paid $7 for. They sold for, I took a best offer, $135. So someone offered me $135, boom, took it. Redzilla, <clears throat> what's up, Megan Kirby? Red Tag 2, yeah, you saw, oh, was it a red tag where you were too? Same thing. All right, so those are going in a priority flat rate. And or not priority flat rate, priority shoe box, priority shoe box. And I'm going to pack these up just a little bit. And I also have um, packing paper now. If you guys are new here, I got some packing paper. I'm official. I'm going back to my old days of selling hard goods where I, I pack stuff really, really well. I'm not set up for packing hard goods anymore. I uh, used to. I used to have peanuts and everything. So also, I want to know how your guys' sales are. Not just saying that. I'm just curious. My sales are a little bit slower than usual right now. Um, and I've been listing. It's all good, though. But um, I always look for um, – where that one? Uh, no name brand jeans used for 17. Had no name brand jeans used for 17. Like, people aren't going to buy that stuff. That's why – like, honestly, retail arbitrage – if you guys have been watching me since I started social media almost a year ago – um, I only really did sourcing from thrift stores, really, honestly, I've been doing a lot more retail arbitrage over the past year because I can get good deals. Travis Matthews shorts for 11 bucks, like in thrift stores want to price those up to a lot. Forget about it. Like have at it. All right. So there are those they are going out in this priority box again, $7 into 135. One of my better sales, obviously. Um, chances of finding those again, I don't know. I just, I literally picked those up and I'm like, these feel nice. I've never heard of that brand. I looked them up and that's why I'm not good at women's clothing. So sales are up a bit from January, but not great. Hey, progress is better. As long as you're doing this, that's good, Amy. Um, up is good. So I'm glad to hear that. What's up, Trisha? What's up, Trish? Trish, I'm safe and sound. Um, and those are new with tags. Amy, um... New with tags. Yes, some of those are new with tags. Slow. Doug says his sales are slow. Let's see over here. Uh, where did you get all your boxes for non-priority eBay sales? So, so non-priority, not these boxes. If you're talking about like my boxes that I get, I get them off eBay, but I don't recommend really getting them off eBay because they're more expensive. I get them because I have an eBay store and I get that 
fifty dollar gift like fifty dollar credit quarterly that I use towards boxes. So I really don't pack a whole lot of stuff in boxes. Um, when my wife gets Amazon boxes in like every day, I just reuse those. Yes, yeah, so a week ago I'm just working the day away. Yep, me too, Husky Mom. I am too. My son, I don't know if I even mentioned this. My son's upstairs sick. He's got the uh, fever and everything else. So um, it's been a really good work day. It's been a really good work day. Did you get crazy weather like we did yesterday? Of course. Um, not as crazy as you. I saw, I saw Chicago actually had worse weather. Um, let me see. Uh, Audra, what's up, Audra? Had a pretty good weekend, but slower this week. My Goodwill has started marking their Polar Ralph Lauren 1099 or more. I've been going to some smaller thrift places. Yeah, maybe they're watching my videos. What's up, Goodwill? If you are watching my videos, keep on pricing the Polo Ralph Lauren up. I know where to get it for cheaper. So go ahead, keep pricing it up. I'll just find another brand. So I'm always, it's always cat and mouse with, with uh, Goodwill. It's always cat and mouse. So they want to price Nike up, have at it. I'll go find a different brand. But yeah, it's... And then also they'll price all Polo Ralph Lauren up and then you'll find like a double RL there or a purple label like I did last week and sell for 300. Okay, price your Polo Ralph Lauren up. These are Roan, Roan pants. Um, the pocket, the inner pocket has the label on it. So the label you won't see on it unless you look on the inner pocket. Very similar to Lululemon. A lot of you know this brand, but they're always new eyes. Um, I would say these are, in the category of Lululemon, Bird Dog, Viore, um, yeah, those categories. So these sold for $29.69. That would be an auto posture sale because I don't price anything that way. Only K-Way prices stuff at $69. Um, did you do? Just having lunch and a brew on a beautiful Florida sunshiny day. Trisha, I'm jealous. You got to rub that in. Um it's okay. I want to be down there. I'm going to be in Florida in one month almost. We're going on a cruise out of Port Canaveral. Sales have been pretty good for me this month. Uh, rhythmic, pretty good. Relist have been relist have been key. Yeah, relist with auto posture has been really key too. And uh, I've turned back on um, doing. Um, I don't do promotions for anything under like twenty dollars or anything that I, maybe like those bird dogs I do. But I do automatic offers with um, auto posture or with, yeah, with auto posture. Uh, sell similar, yes. Um, yeah, Polo has been way up. Yeah, they can let them price it up. I think they literally watch it. They they watch me. Hi. And, and whoever, I don't, that's fine. I'll find something different. Uh, let's see. I've been doing pretty well. My sales, uh, the only thing is I'm trying to figure, trying to figure out. When would be a good time to open a store? I have about 270 items right now. A good a good score at the Westfield Goodwill. There you go, Rodzilla. Okay. So I was talking yesterday. Was it yesterday with someone? It might have been Ryzen or two days ago. And the perfect number supposedly is about 240. About 240 items is a good time to get a store. Um, that's kind of what I've been hearing. I would say when it makes sense financially, like insertion fees and everything else, but then you have to have to balance out like you know, if you get a store, the fifty dollars store, you get two hundred dollars a year in shipping supplies, so that balances out some things. So you just have to be doing it. Um, what's up, Jennifer? This is an Oakley. I priced down when I am. I'm doing my cross listing now. I went back into my eBay and priced down a whole bunch of Oakley and Footjoy because they're just not selling, or they didn't sell last season. So now that the new season's coming, I want to get them out the door quick. I'm not buying these anymore. Uh, that Polo Ralph Lauren purple tag was our local Goodwill. That's wild. Yes, that was at uh, our local Goodwill, Ronnie. Yeah, I, I found purple tag plenty of times. I found one two weeks ago. Take care of yourself. Something is going around. I know, Husky Mama. There's a lot going around. Um, yeah, I, was, I coached soccer last night, and half the kids weren't there, and they said there's so many – my wife had like eight kids out of her room, but I sold this for $14.99, $14.99, $14.99. And I paid $5 for it. But you know what? In the summertime, your average sale price, your ASP is smaller. So if those sell, if those Oakley shirts sell really quickly for $14.99 and I can get them for $5, is it worth the two minute list to make about eight or $7 profit? That's something I have to think about. 
Come down. I'll show you uh, Shelby around. Trisha, you know I want to come down. Uh, did, 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 uh, I heard one of the managers talking about Thrift or Sifter a few weeks ago. Yeah, they probably have. Um, I know the managers around here in Indy. I talk to them all the time. And a lot of them watch my um, TikTok. They don't, I don't think they watch me on here, but on TikTok. I'm at 60. There you go. That's not bad. Doug, just keep on plugging away. Keep plugging away. Um, but yeah, Thrift or Sifter doesn't do a lot of thrift stores. He's known for the garage sales. I talk to him every once in a while. He's, you know, he's a lot like Bearded. Um, these are mountain khaki, mountain khaki jeans. I don't, you don't run into these very often. Mountain khaki jeans, mountain khaki used to be a much better reselling brand for me, but they still sell. Okay. I pick them up usually khaki pants or thick flannels, but I pay $7.99 for jeans sold these for $23.99. So catch that one. Goodwill get that one mountain khaki. Um, uh, did you figure out listing multiples on item on Poshmark? Can list it under quantity. Audra, I have not. I actually was. Um, funny thing is, I was um, in Poshmark jail because I'm cross listing and I'm sharing my store through my through Auto Posher with, um, which is like my virtual assistant. I just started on Poshmark and two times they um, like shut down my account because they thought I was a bot. So I had to email them and they'd be like, oh, we're so sorry. We just, we have this protection. If, if we feel like someone's a bot, we shut down their account. And last night, like I said, that was one time. Then last night it happened again when I was trying to cross list and it thought I was a bot, but they covered that. They like fixed that in 30 minutes. So I still haven't done that yet. Ever heard of Roebuck? Casey, yes. Roebuck is probably the best selling golf polo shirt right now. Better than G4, better than Bad Birdie, better than Grayson. I would say Roebuck is at the top. So, yes, Roebuck is the best. Uh, Foot Joys are selling for me. Just sold one, 17 plus shipping. Well, guess what? Uh, oh, no, we don't have a Foot Joy. Yes. Oh, we have Under Armour. Yeah, uh, I have Foot Joys and I price them down too. That's about where I'm going to price them, 17 bucks. Uh, what made you switch from hard goods to clothing? Ronnie, good question. So, hi, Marty. Are, are you waving at me? Is it Margio, Margo, Margo, Margio? Um, I'll tell you why. Let's do the next item and I'll tell you why. Uh, we're not going to do those. Actually, we, nah, we don't need to do those. I have two retail arbitrage pairs of shoes. We don't need to talk about those. Another bad birdie retail arbitrage. Again, like I said, I'm pricing them a few dollars cheaper than all the competitors. A lot of the competitors are pricing them right around $40. Because they all got the same ones when Dick's did their huge sale. I paid 10 or $11 for each one of these. I'll take $3 less and sell them quick. I'll put that money. I'd rather three times my money, three times $5,000 into $15,000 and do that over and over and over again than sit on those items. Uh, so what made me switch? I can tell you. Um, my dad was a teacher like I was. Um, he retired, but his side hustle were estate sales. So that's why I started on eBay so early in high school, because I would go to estate sales and I would find things and resell them online, always hard goods. So I grew up with antiques, collectibles, and like back then in the early 2000s, it was like Lalique and Hummels and Yadros and Waterford Crystal and that sort of thing. And then little odd and end things. Um, so I, I did a lot of that. And then uh, in 2016, he retired from estate sales. And so the life I was living, making my teacher wage and making my eBay wage was a really good life. I was able to afford a lot of things, no car payments, all that sort of stuff. And so I, I had to pivot. I had to find a way to make money. I went to Goodwills to look for antiques and collectibles and I couldn't find them. I went to estate sales. They were super expensive. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Got on YouTube, saw some people selling clothing. I was used to buying stuff at estate sales for $10 and selling it for $100 or $200 all the time. So I went from buying stuff for $10 and selling it for $20 to $25, which hurt, but it's all I had. So I just built my knowledge. I listened to stuff like this all the time. And that's how I got into selling clothing and not hard goods. But the good thing is back here, I have a ton of knowledge when it comes to hard goods and well-made items. So if I still come across those types of things, I will be able to um, know to pick them up. 
So that's a good thing. Uh, these are, what's up, New Jersey? Uh, trying to do video games and clothing. Yeah, Doug's. We don't have, I don't have, uh, I don't have video games here. Goodwill puts them all on shopgoodwill.com. Um, the estate sales price them high. The flea market, it's just really tough for me to get video games. I have to spend a lot of time really, really searching for them when I can just go and get clothing. Um, so, you know, I can get a couple pieces of clothing and make the same as I would on a really good video game. So Oakley, these are just a pair of blue shorts. They sold for $17.88. These aren't even golfing shorts. These are more like just like chino khaki shorts, whatever you call them, like um, casual shorts. But there you go. We're selling polos and shorts now. You guys know what time of year it is. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, just saying hi. Thanks for saying hi. Appreciate you, Mario, coming in. Am I saying your name right, by the way? Um, I don't understand that language on uh it's definitely you've got to switch up that language do you know russian no i don't know russian that's the language you i do not definitely don't know that i know i i used to i should know spanish for how many years i took of it but you don't use it you lose it um ba -ba 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 -ba. here's something i've been wondering about i list an item and it will be on here for a week and I have zero views does ebay track the views differently so we can't see how many there are Rodzilla, I don't know the answer to that. I really don't know. And I actually, I understand if if you're newer to reselling, like you look at the views. I never look at views on any of my listings, ever. Unless I do an auction, which is like one out of every 300 items. Um, I never look at views. I just price my items a court, like aggressively. I try to get the right items, price them aggressively, and um, take really good pictures. And that's why I just hope to sell the item that way. But I don't look at views. So I'm not really sure how eBay does with that. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. For sure. Uh, does your dad still thrift with you? I saw your video with him. Yeah. He, Amy, he would like, my dad's about to be 79. Um, and he would thrift every day of his life if he could. The dude doesn't get off the couch ever. But when we go thrifting, somehow he has the energy to go in every store and and walk around every aisle and he would do it from nine to nine no joke but if he needed a diet coke he would say i can't get up can you get me a diet coke foot joy quarter zip um this is a i guess we are selling foot joy foot joy quarter zip this is just a cotton pullover it actually had a hit on the sleeve but it's in good condition and it's red so foot joy is a weird like some of the, the the pullovers and the jackets they just do they do pretty well for me. This sold for twenty two ninety nine, isn't that well? Bought it for five dollars. I saw my, saw some of those today. Next time we pick those up. Thanks, um, Ryzen. What did you see today? Tell me what you saw. What did I miss or what did I pack? Uh, I really enjoy your shorts. Oh Lord, thank you. Um. Thank you so much for going live. You're always inspiring me. I love many blessings to you. Hey, I appreciate it. I don't know how good my shorts are. Listen, I'm new to the YouTube and I'm only, I'm 38. I feel like I don't know digital stuff like I used to. I thought I was smart. Now I'm outdated. So I'm new, but I do know how to talk to people. I like answering questions because I was a teacher for 13 years. So I do know how to do that. I try to make shorts. A lot of them, I just try to make funny or include some things i could sit there and do shorts and make shorts just about brands the fine bolo brands but those just aren't fun fun to me so i like to put them in here and there um this actually is a type of shirt i never picked up until i started social media um with my friend k way well he started before me but i never picked up brooks brothers all white shirts i never picked up brooks brothers all white shirts until k way said he picks them up and they sell and I watch and I watch people to make sure they're honest. And the dude sold them, uh, twenty two eighty eight for Brooks Brothers white shirts. So now that I'm telling you that, Goodwill is going to start pricing these up. So but paid five dollars for this. I can read through a translator. Why do you have the Russian flag behind you? That's not the Russian flag. That's a Hawaiian flag. It's a little. It's close to Russia from here, but it's not the Russian flag. That's a Hawaiian flag. Uh, uh, can we see your inventory system? Plants with coffee. Of course. I mean, I can show you what I can from here. Um, or I could do a little video. Actually, I, th I thought I had a short. I think I have a short on it. I have a short on that. 
on my inventory system. I think it's, it, I don't know which one it is, but there's a short, but I can show you. So that Brooks Brothers sold for $22.88. As you can also tell, I'm the black sheep out of everybody because I don't pre-bag my items. I have them in, okay, we want to talk about inventory. I put all my items in like bins around my room and around in the other room in the basement. I have 80 bins. So these are all brand new with tags Levi's. And I know I'm a very like a uh, visual person. I know everywhere in my basement where everything is. So the bin with brand new Levi's are here. If the silver, the silver tab sells, I'll pull it out of the bin. So that's why I don't, I don't pre-bag into my items. To me, it saves me a step. Again, for me, it works for me. You do you. But for my system, I don't have to put it in a separate bag. I don't have to categorize it. I don't have to put that number or whatever in my listing. It's only me working. I don't have any assistance. Um, and I know where everything is. So when I take pictures, I put it in a pile, bring the pile down here, put it in whatever, um, whatever bin it's in, pull it out when it sells, and enlist it. So here's a flannel. Or in, in packet. So here's a flannel. Pulled it out of the flannels. Really easy for me to find stuff. Again, so if something sells in here, let's say a pair of brand new tag Levi's that are yellow. It's really easy for me to find those. I don't have to look through it or anything. So that's my organization system. Again, I'm the black sheep. Thrifting, you make me forget all the troubles. Yes, Amy, thrifting is like therapy, right? Thrifting is therapy to me therapy and this was retail arbitrage this i actually bought at ross it's polo ralph lauren denim and supply which they retired um polo ralph lauren retired that brand back in like 2016 ish somewhere in there i don't know and then they came back out with it about a year ago so polo ralph lauren denim and supply it's a little bit better it's better than polo ralph lauren it's a little bit more expensive of a line um the the MSRP was $228. I bought these for, I believe, $50 a piece. I bought three of them. This was the last one I had. It sold for $90.99. $90, $90.99. I can't make that up. Um, I will find it. Yeah, plants. Hopefully that helped, though. I love it. I do the same thing. I, I'm hit 600 listings. Nice. Uh, was second-guessing myself. Plants, I'm, I'm telling you. I've been doing this for a long time, and it's it's efficient. It's efficient for me. This is going out ground. Just making sure this is going out ground. Um, John, it is. So I'm going to put it in a larger poly mailer. Larger poly mailer. I'm going to wrap it up a little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to put it in a bag. Put it in a bag and put it in a poly mailer. So that's how I do all my inventory. Um, it, it, I understand some people like my wife, it would stress her out to have this inventory. She likes really nice and nice and clean. I like fast and efficient and that's how I do things. Um, so it works for me. And I also watch, uh, if you guys don't know, you should watch and follow, um, Tekken sports. He's, he's now come out of the, come out of the woodwork, um, he was like the number one reseller on eBay men's clothing for 15 years. Um, I used to listen to him on podcasts, but now he's on YouTube. He doesn't have a bag inventory system. He does a similar inventory system, but he hangs his stuff. So watch that guy. He's pretty much the goat of reselling clothing. Um, he would list like 120 items a day by himself. So I'm not at that point. <laughs> um, but these are, again... Denim and Supply by Ralph, Polo Ralph Lauren. I don't pick up all Denim and Supply. In fact, when I was in Chicago, I saw some plaid shirts that were Denim and Supply, and I left them behind um, because they just weren't great shirts. Um, the Denim and Supply, if it's just a plain shirt, there's nothing going on with it. A lot of times I leave it behind. But a lot of Denim and Supply is known for being like Americana. So you'll see American flags on it. You'll see star patches on it. Um, all sorts of stuff like that. Just look on eBay. Look up Denim and Supply. What's up, Booga? Um, Lucia. All right, let me catch up with the chat. Can you say the letter? No, I don't know. Hiya, Michael. All right, we got a lot. We got a lot of people coming in. Um, keep doing it. What's the first step in getting a store? I have no idea where to start. Well, Connie. Um. 
first list stuff. I wouldn't worry about getting a store until you have like 200 items or something like that. Just start listing stuff. You're in the right place. Um, we I put videos together all the time. You can watch those videos. Um, I actually have a short that I actually have a video on YouTube and in my Facebook group, resell um, surf reseller community. It's a free group um, on, on Facebook. And I have a video pinned at the top that tells you how to price an item. So if you're looking like out of your closet, is this worth money? How much would it sell on eBay for? That's the video you'd want to watch. And there it is, Paul, same thing. It's a video that shows you exactly how to check sell through rate. What I do is take you into your phone and have you look up sold comps and sell through rate right through your phone. Promise you, um, if you watch that video, it'll really help you out. Uh, how are you, Michael? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I do the like bins as well. So much more efficient. I agree. Um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of time to take pictures different ways, lots of different ways. There's no wrong way. Uh, whatever works for you, your house, your apartment, whatever works for you. I started, my inventory system started with piles of clothes on the ground. So it's always, it's always changed. Uh, what's his name again? Tekken Sports. T-E-C-H-N. T-E-C-H-N. Tell him Surf's Up Fine said, sent you. Um, can you help me with something, please? Michael, I'll do my best. I start my new job tomorrow. I'm nervous. You got it. Michael, you got it. Michael B. Is that Michael B? I'm working in the men's fashion. Oh, nice. Michael, is that Michael Brown? Um, I wish uh, I watch him too. He's awesome. He is awesome. He's amazing. Uh, let's see. Just me or do I see a shadow behind him? Snap. There's no shadow. Stop that. Stop that talk. What's his name again? Tekken. Um, I'm happy with listing 10. Like listing 10 a day. Yes. Are proper good button up shirts? Uh, proper or not? I don't get proper shirts. Nope. Uh, they're, it, I, again, it comes to buy cost. So if you go to the bins and you buy stuff for super duper cheap, it might be worth it. But for the most part, um, no. That that brand, even if someone gave it to me proper, I usually don't. Not, not a great brand. Maybe for a dollar. I don't know for sure. But I don't pick that brand up. I'll put it over here for you guys. Tech in. Um, I'll put it over here for you guys. Tech in. Um, I consider him the GOAT. So let's see... Kim Unicorn. Guess my real name. Kim Unicorn. Um, it's got to be Unicorn. You're Unicorn. Uh, I found a shout out. I need a shout out. What's up, Meyer fam? What's up, Meyer fam? I got you shout out. My dog died. Sorry, Daniel. All right. We have a lot of, lot of other questions in there. Okay. Retail arbitrage. Columbia. I know. I don't pick up Columbia unless the buy cost is good, right? There's always an asterisk. I don't buy Columbia to resell online. It doesn't do really well for me, but Dix was having a huge sell event last fall. I bought probably a hundred pairs of Columbia shorts, new with tags for $2 and 50 cents a piece, $2 and 50 cents a piece for new with tags, Columbia shorts. I spent all that money and I've sat on them like a stock, like an investment. I've sat on them, I sat on that $2.50 since the fall, and I sold it for $18.99 plus buyer pay shipping. So my $2.50 investment turned into $19. And guess what? I have a hundred more pair of those. So that's why I like retail arbitrage, looking for those deals. But sometimes you have to sit. The good deals are at the end of the season. You just have to sit on that stuff, but you have to look at it like an investment, like a stock. What's the best way to increase your eBay listing quantity when you first start out? How fast do they uh, let you increase? Is it a long process? If you are at maxed out on listing your eBay stuff, then I would call eBay and ask them to um, see if they'll let you list more items. A lot of times they'll let you list more items. They'll open the door for you to list more items. Um, mostly you just have to get some good sales in. They want to see that you're like an honest seller. You have some good feedback. Um, another thing, if you want to get some feedback, um, on eBay, a little tip is to buy some packing material through eBay, like eBay's packing material, whether it be poly mailers or something cheap, uh, like these thank you notes from eBay or these thank you stickers, you'll get automatic positive feedback if you do that. So what do you, uh, what do you say your shipping for shoes on eBay priority medium box? So 
Um, all my shipping for everything is calculated shipping. So with shoes, I will do typically this shoe box. So this is a priority shoe box. Um, you can find it on USPS.com. They will send it straight to your house for free. And then on eBay, you just have to put in the dimensions and the weight. Um, and then buyer pays shipping. So it calculates to where they live and eBay will do the rest. They'll pay you. They'll pay you for the product and the shipping cost, and then you'll just print out the label from your computer. Um, let's see. Lee, hi, subscribe. Kim said, subscribe, subscribe. Thanks, Cam. And uh, I wear designer clothing. Nice. Um, let's see. Okay, we're up to date. We have a few more things to ship out. All right, again. Under Armour, I'm getting very picky with Under Armour. Very picky. Why? Because you can find it at Ross and TJ Maxx for $23. Brand new with tags. I used to sell it for that much. So it's not going to be selling for that much used. So Under Armour's like this. Sorry, the color's really bad. But Under Armour's like this. This is just a polo shirt with the local golf course hit on the front. Nothing special about this Under Armour other than it's neon. What I did... Last season, like I said, all my foot joys, Under Armour, even Peter Millar, were all they all had a hard time selling last spring and summer. So right now, I dropped the prices on all my Under Armour, all my Puma, all my foot joy. I want to get those out of the door at the beginning of the season so I don't have to pick those up anymore. If I leave them at the same price, they're probably not going to sell again this season. I sold this for $12.99. So, yeah, that's not a good price, but... I'm trying to get it out the door. I paid five dollars for it, so I did make a little bit of money. But now I'll have uh, ten bucks to go buy two more shirts that are probably better shirts that will be better shirts. Uh, what was the video on the seltzer rate, Paul? Um, I'll show you real quick. Um, I will show you. Okay, so if you go to YouTube, if you're on YouTube, so you go to my channel right there. Search up finds. You can go to, there's my page right there, and there's me live. You click over on playlist. So go to playlist, and right at the top, it will say reselling for beginners. So hit on reselling for beginners, and you'll see pricing to resell. That's the video. There's one for shipping made easy, and there's one for pricing. So I made two videos for shipping and pricing. The shipping one is from last summer, so it talks about first class, just replace that with um, ground advantage. So hopefully that helps out. All right, next item, another retail arbitrage item. I bought these along with those shorts last fall, so I've been sitting on my investment. These were $11 last fall. Um, these are just North Face. Again, if they were in the store, if we were looking to buy these at a thrift store, $3.99 is what I would be paying for these. I uh, wouldn't be paying much more for the, than that for North Face shorts unless they're cargo or they have the um, the zip-off convertible shorts for the pants. These sold for $23.99 as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Paul. Could you show? Okay. Uh, thanks for the great advice. I have sold on eBay since 2010. What's up, Eric? An OG in the house, um, but took a massive hiatus, got back into it, loved learning from people doing it every day. That's um, that's the thing. I like being on here and showing. Uh, so you have a lot of YouTubers, and to, I'll give credit to K-Way Shop. If you don't follow K-Way Shop, follow them. Um, but being live is important. I think showing people your actual sales, talking to them, informing them. Exact, me being a teacher, I just have that blood in me. But, you know, you always see these big YouTubers, and they – buy this stuff but you never see their stores my store is linked you never hear them talk about sales i, I want to be transparent i don't feel like that's a space anywhere um kway uh does it as well and he's the reason why i started it so peter millar this is just a peter millar jacket um peter millar cashmere wool blend jacket bought it for 9.99 it sold for 116.99 what do you think about north face it just depends um wow um so north pace it just depends i 
I have to, the buy cost is important. I like to spend $5 or whatever. If it's a North Face down jacket, I'll pay up to $20 for that. North Face down jacket in used condition or the um, thermal ball jackets, those are good too. I'd pay up to $20 for those. Uh, but I don't buy a lot of North Face shirts, if any. Um, I like the convertible pants from North Face. Um, that's about it. Uh, there's not... North Face is a great brand in certain areas, but like their button-up shirts, if you were live thrifting with me yesterday, I left one behind. Working and watching, Anita, what's up? I hope you're having a good day. Um, I have a crap. Name a car, S2000. Uh, I have a crap. Sorry, what was the video? Sell through. Sorry, I'm catching up with all these. Um... Kway shop is awesome. Yes, he is. Um, Y'all doing the one not show together was the best show ever. Amy, that show was fun. And you know what's crazy? So if you guys don't know Kway shop, go follow him. I went down to Florida and hung out with him and Ethan for like four days. And like we, it was like peas and carrots. Like we all just got along so well. It, like we could spend days together. We could do whatnot shows together. We just feed off each other. So it's fun. Um, I have a, uh, you don't have a crush. All this, all this, all this. Goodwill has stopped asking if we want to round up since they hiked prices up in Savannah as they should. How about there with you? No, they still ask. And if it's within like 10 cents, I'll, I'll round it up. Or if it's like a cashier that I really like, I'll round it up because it, it shows on their side, like, which cashiers get rounds up. Um, but no, like, everything you get for free, I understand it goes towards your cause. A lot of my old students, I work for Goodwill. But, like, you're just squeezing pennies out of people when you're already overcharging for a lot of stuff. So, no, uh, I don't. Um, I'm from Indianapolis. All right, so here we go. This: Do you ever use Ground Advantage for shoes? Um, I do the only time I use ground advantage for shoes, if they're really lightweight shoes, like bird or like uh, all birds, I will use all, I will use ground advantage for shoes if they're all birds. So this is actually going to go out priority and I get to decide how I want to ship this out priority. What I'll probably do is put it in a bag and then put it in, um, see if I can get it in a Tyvex envelope and tape it. Cause this is a nice jacket, 116, $117. Uh, Got to hit up the Goodwill today. Eric, go hit that thing up. Give me some good stuff. Give me some good stuff at the Goodwill. I also um, round up. depends on the cashier. Yeah, Gladys. What's up, Gladys? Love you, Gladys. Yeah, depends on the cashier. And you guys know if I go live thrifting, at least my dad, some of that video, like you heard me saying, you always hear me say like, what's up, girl? Stuff like that. Because I know a lot of the cashiers. Um, and it does. A, a lot of them have told me like, it goes to when they clock in on their on their cash register. It tells the, the managers and stuff if they ask people to round up and how many they got. So I like to give them that if I, I like the, the cashier. I just joined. What's up, Stephanie? Um, let's see. Hello, Greta. What's up, Greta? How are you? All right. So I actually have two more items I could pack up if I I, I could pack them up. Um, the retail arbitrage items, I said I was going to put a piece of tape. So this is a Tyvex envelope. Again, I talk about these in that video I put out, but free from the Postal Service. Just make your account online and they're free. Super easy, super cheap. Um, I'm going to put this over here and grab another shoe box real quick. So in this room right behind me is where I store all my packing material. So here's one of those shoe boxes. Um, I have a ton. What's up, Dip? Dilpeka, I, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I see you and I'm saying hi. I have almost 500 items listed on eBay, but never get started, never start a store. What are the advantages? If you have 500 items, I really think you should start a store, especially if you're listing like 10 a day or eight a day, you'll probably save money. The, the advantages of having a store are you can run sales promotions, send out coupons. You get a coupon from eBay every uh, quarter, 
fifty dollars off their shipping supplies. So like if you need poly mailers or a certain size of eBay box, I'll show you again. It's like you need a little box for hats, like I did. Um, I got these off of eBay um, with that with that little discount code. So there are advantages, but I wouldn't get a store if you're new and you're not selling a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so have this box. What was I going to ship in here? I think these shoes. Yeah, I got uh, some shoes, retail arbitrage shoes. Um, let me see. These are going to an APO. So I know you can't see it very well, but this is a normal tag. And I don't mind showing you this because this is going to eBay. This is an APO. It comes out really weird, which is a base, a base. Goodwill uh, doesn't offer that information. They don't offer it. Um, you look like young boys in middle school. No, Chloe, not me. What's up, South Africa? So these are going to an APO. So I'll put these in a bag. Um, more than likely, these will get opened and checked, obviously, before they go on base. So, Teresa, yeah, I would, with 500 listings, I would look into getting a store, depending on how many items you list per day. So what's that, KTF? Uh, I have a ton of Ralph Lauren and L.L. Bean button downs that I, I need to list. What are the pros and cons to selling small lots, or is it better to sell individually? You can do either one. I've done both. I would stay away from selling it in huge lots, like anything more than six. Um, but lots of three are good. Like, if, for example, Polo Ralph Lauren. If you're buying lots of three, you can sell three of them for $42.99. You spend $5 a piece, $15.00. Sell for $42.99, something like that. Buyer pays shipping. You can probably get them all into one of these or even into like a, um, a poly mailer. It's going to one of these boxes right here. So, yeah, I would also L.L. Bean flannels right now. It's not a good time to be selling those because we're getting into warmer weather. So, you obviously, if that's what you have, list them. But list those Polo Ralph Lauren shirts first because those will sell year-round. Um, about signing up for saving the membership card you told us about, um, on Gladys, are you talking about, um, oh, signing up, where are you at Gladys? Where do you live? By the way, are you talking about the Goodwill in Chicago? Or are you talking about the eBay store? So these are going to an APO, putting this on it. Um, sometimes you have things that go to an APO. I like to print it out separately because if not, it looks really goofy. Um, it prints out on like eight different uh, pieces of this of this paper right here and then i bought some a few pairs of these shoes uh on clearance and i sold them for bought them for 25 dollars, and i sold them for 50 so it's an okay sale an okay sale i'm gonna put those in a bag and then in a poly mailer so i will send these in a poly mailer uh stephanie smith what is up how are you uh hi axel hi everybody Welcome in. Uh, VX Rail, appreciate you. Hi, I'm packing orders right now, too. Eric, good. We have to pack it together. That's what I want to do. Um, Iowa. Oh, I got you, Iowa. Got you. Thank you. You're welcome, Teresa. What kind of label printer do you use, Amy? I have one they don't make anymore. I bought it when I start. Well, no. When I started, I wrote labels down or wrote addresses. It's awful. Don't ever do that. It's so much waste of time. Um. It's a Dymo 4XL. They don't sell it anymore. Don't get the Dymo 5XL. They make you buy uh, their own Dymo printer labels, and they're very expensive. I In my link tree, um, I have a link to a thermal printer that a lot of resellers use. If this breaks, I would buy the one that I have in my link tree. It's very affordable. It's like $100. Um, actually, one of my buddies here in town, who I think is on here, bought one too, um, that same one. So... It's in my link tree. My link tree is attached to all of my profiles. All right. So I am going to put these in a bag and then we'll send these out. So these are going to go out because they're new Adidas. eBay is going to want to authenticate them. And so I'm sending them out to the authentication center uh, at eBay. So sometimes when you get new shoes or even used shoes like Jordans or whatever, eBay will want to authenticate them to make sure they're good. What's the Goodwill website and signed up? Uh, Save four dollars yesterday. Gladys, my girl, saving money. Remember Bar Remember uh, Barney the purple dinosaur? Of course, Gladys. Send it to you. 
My wife was so glad. Yes, Donna, I do, but I don't know how to do that. Um, I don't know how to do that. So one of these days I'll figure that out. Do, 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 do. All right. So I had a Barney the Purple the Dinosaur. It's in one of my shorts. I bought it like a year ago. Again, I never listed it because I didn't have a box as the size that, that fits it. So finally, my wife, my wife got me a box that size. And I complained about listing it. And Gladys was like, I'll buy it. I'm like, you know what, Gladys? I'd happily just, you just pay for shipping and I'll send it to you. So that's what we did. Um, hello, everybody. All right. So that's everything. Packed up 20 items. Um, I have no other sales right now. Appreciate you guys. I have no other sales right now. Appreciate you guys coming in. As always, if you have any questions, I'll answer every question. Um, hopefully, I'll get to them on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, anywhere. Appreciate you guys' support. As always, uh, be good. Have fun.